It was the year 2014. I had just clocked out of work and was excited for the weekend. Friday had finally come. I rushed home, fighting through traffic to relax after a long work week and could not wait to get home because tonight was movie night. This was a regular thing I did. So I ordered a pizza, got some gummies, my favorite candy, and started to flip through the channels. To my surprise, I stumbled upon a film called John Wick. I quickly researched what it was about. An ex-hitman who comes out of retirement to track down the gangsters that killed his dog and took everything from him. I was hooked. Yep, I'm watching this. I said to myself, that dog was his last connection to his late wife and the gangsters who had took that away had no idea what they had gotten themselves into. Those gangsters had no idea what the name John Wick represented. All throughout the film, whenever someone mentions the name John Wick, you could see the fear creep into their faces. It consumed them. I thought to myself, why are they so afraid of him? He seems like a regular guy to me. But isn't there a saying that states, never judge a book by its cover? Because they will soon find out why the name John Wick has been feared by many people all around the globe. And I am going to show you what you can learn from this relentless man nicknamed the Baba Yaga. What do you want out of life? Are you desperate to figure out who you are and why you were put on this earth? Are you tired of people telling you who you should be or what you should want out of your life? I believe we were brought on this earth with intention. You have been designed by God to fulfill a specific purpose, but it's up to you to find out what that is. Don't let anyone tell you who you are or what you're supposed to do. That is up to you to find out. There will be people who will hate on you. It may even come from your close family and friends. Crazy, right? Okay, if you don't believe me, go ahead and tell them your dreams and see how they react. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> but the journey is going to mold you and shape you into who you need to be so you can handle the blessing that is coming. But let me stop right there. Have you ever asked yourself, what will it take to achieve my dreams. No, like really, ask yourself this question. When you look at your Instagram feed, you will see a bunch of people living out their dream lives and you may think it happened overnight or by the snap of their fingers and boom, victory. But let's look deeper. In order to achieve your aspirations, it will take two things. Be courageous and relentless. These two habits are like your ultimate weapons in getting you through your journey to your goals. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but in order to achieve your dreams, you're going to go through hell and back. Spoiler alert, sorry, but not sorry. It is all a part of the process. Courage is defined as the ability to do something that frightens one. I remember when I first started thinking about doing YouTube, I immediately dismissed the idea. I thought to myself, there is no way I'm going to record myself and let everyone see how weird I look or how bad I sound. Nope, not gonna happen. But then I made a decision. You know what? Who cares what they have to say? My motives are pure, I told myself. I just wanna help people. And if people wanna hate on me for that, then so be it. It starts from a decision. You make a decision and stick with it. Whatever decision you made, there are going to be obstacles that will try and stop you from getting to your end goal. But you have to want it so bad that you are willing to push through everything to complete your journey. In the film John Wick, he is faced with numerous instances that has fear written all over it. He is a man who will look death in the face and smile. How is he able to do this? Where does this courage come from? Love, his love for his wife is so strong that he will do whatever it takes to honor her. So look inside yourself and find that love. Find what you are living for and use that as the source of your courageousness. Now, of course, I want you to focus on his character trait and not him being an assassin, okay? Glad we got that cleared up. T.D. Jakes, my favorite pastor, said it best. If you don't wanna make waves, be mediocre. Fit in and be like everyone else. But if I know you, and I think I may know you well. You are a courageous person who is willing to take the first step to achieve your goals. Choosing to be courageous is terrifying, but when you feel that fear creep inside, remember why you took that first step and keep moving forward. You have to want something so desperately that you are willing to push past your fears. You will go through ups and downs, but that's just life. You can't avoid that. But when it is all said and done, you will come out victorious, but only if you put in the work. Les Brown made an analogy that was very powerful. He said, imagine you are on your deathbed 
and surrounding you are the ghosts of your potential. They are all gathered pleading to you. We came to you. How come you never took action? You could have done so much more in your life. Now think about that. Don't ever let fear stop you. You be courageous and take fear by the chokehold and never look back. Relentless by definition is a person who is determined to do something and refuses to give up. Those who have achieved monumental success have this trait embedded in their DNA. And most importantly, so does our guy, John Wick. Throughout the film, he is placed in impossible situations, instances that no mere mortal man would be able to pull through. But somehow he always finds a way, no matter the obstacle. And that right there is key. No matter what happens, if you are a relentless person, you will always find a way to make it work. There should be no outside factors, no one, telling you what to do. Being relentless should be born of your own self-belief in something good. Let me repeat, something good. Don't be out here doing illegal bad things just because you have a passion for it. <laughs> Maybe you need to reevaluate. What helped me was finding something I have a passion for, helping people. Therefore, I will stop at nothing until I have reached millions of people around the world. And I know you can too. One of my favorite quotes states, nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Sometimes when people are faced with trials and tribulations, they will quit right away and say, ah, this ain't for me. It's too hard. But think about it. If whatever you're trying to achieve was really worth it, would it be easy? Heck no. So my friends, I beg you, be relentless. Burn that into your brain. Allow it to shape you and form you into all that God has called you to be, and you will be able to achieve astronomical things. Like John Wick, who will stop at nothing to finish a task, you will give everything to attain your goals and tackle any challenge head on. Hopefully there is something good and for the betterment of the planet. <laughs> But anyway, start right now. There is no better time than the present. Remember, you are in control of your life. So choose to be relentless and courageous.